Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so today I wanted to share a little bit of a uh, little bit of history about insurance. It's kind of weird, right? And a little bit of uh, methods and tricks that you can use to save you a bit of money here and there. I mean, sporadically, but still. So the first actual recorded date of insurance was back in 3000 AD. Yeah, long time ago, and it it was pretty cool. So the merchants and cargo owners and folks that were shipping shipping stuff overseas um, they would spread their cargo and share the cargo across everybody so everybody would have a little bit instead of one person carrying on everything and having a complete and total loss um, so the they'd go around and be like here you take this much I take this much da 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 and each ship carries a little bit of a risk it's kinda of like what we do today you know, there's a whole bunch of people that's insured by one company. We'll call it Company B. Company A team goes through and says, okay, I got two million cars. That's better, right? That's better. So with the insurance, it covers a whole lot of people, and everybody shares a little bit of the risk. You know, uh, out here in Colorado, prices are going up because there's a lot of people uninsured, and there's a lot of people driving stupid. Simple as that. So insurance companies, they go around and they determine risk. Um, and they take, yeah, there's a lot here. They take your, uh, they take your age, uh, they take your race, they take your sex, sexual orientation, um, uh, where you lived, where you have lived, where you live now, um, and they also take if you're married or unmarried. There's a whole lot of other factors that go into it, um, but I'm just doing the gist. Like, that's just, that was just six things. This is, this is a really easy one. If you're if you're under the age of 25, you're going to be spending a shit ton of money. And then another thing, if you're a male under the age of 25, oh, best believe you're fucked. Like, trust me, there's no other way to say it. 16-year-old <laughs> male driver, let's say he's got a 98 Honda Accord, and he's paying 400 bucks a month. I don't know. It might be it, might not be it, but I think I'm close. 400 bucks a month. And then we'll turn around, female, 16, first license, same car, probably paying about 200 And I guess the way that they've come through and been like, oh, a young male driver, he's more stupid than a young woman driver. Well, yeah, that's true. Us guys, we're risk takers. We like to live on the edge. And so the insurance companies know that. So you taking those driver's ed classes in school and uh, live at 25, if... You guys have it right now? I don't know. Well, we got one down in Elizabeth, so it's still around. And all these driving courses, they're not to be like, oh, let's put this young man through some more class. No. We're here saving. Well, I'm not. We're not. But the insurance companies are. They're coming through. All right, we know young males are really stupid drivers, so we're going to go through and be like, hey, you take these courses, that makes you safer, so we're going to save your folks some money. I went a little bit off topic there, but uh, uh, let's say downtown Denver. Um, in Denver, there's a really high risk of getting your stuff stolen. So of course, you're going to pay more living in Denver. You're going to pay less living in Aspen or, well, no, you'd probably be paying more in Aspen. In Aurora, you'd pay less there. In Douglas County, you would pay less and more at the same time. It all depends on your area code, your zip code, um, and then... So from 25 on, it stays pretty steady. The longer you're with the company, it sounds, it's in every commercial. Shop around, we'll save you X percent. No. Because <laughs> every insurance company, once you go through and be like, hey, I need a quote for my home and car, and I want to bundle it, save a little bit of money. Everybody knows bundling is saving. But yeah, the more you shop around, the more it's actually going to cost you in the long run. You have about 24 hours to shop around. Um, insurance companies before it starts dinging you because they do keep a record and they go through and be like okay John Doe was going through and he shopped eight companies in the past week we're gonna raise his rates not his current insurance company but other insurance companies out there because they all communicate they're all out there saying hey you know this person's doing this da 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 everything is tracked as much as we don't want to believe it it's all tracked I myself am a trained, licensed insurance agent. I can sell auto, life, uh, home, um, health, business, 
You name it, I could probably insure it. I'm licensed to insure it. I'm not going to insure it, but I'm still just telling you. Don't don't judge me. Okay, I, I can see the way you're looking at me. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not cool. It's not cricket. <laughs> um, it's kind of crazy. Like, what you do in your daily lives and how often you shop determines how much you're going to pay. It's weird. And it sounds, as weird as it sounds, the longer you stay with the company, the better your rates are going to be. Simple as that. If you bundle your insurance, it's going to save you a lot. If you take uh, defensive driving courses, it'll save you a shit ton. They have these tracking things. I don't have one in my car. But they're little OBD2 sensors that just plug into your OBD2. The code reader, usually at the bottom bottom area of the steering wheel and the dash. If you plug that in, honestly, in the state of Colorado, at least, every state is different. I will tell you that much now. Um, I'm just going off the stuff that's in my state. It's not allowed to track you, like your exact location. It can track uh, your acceleration, deceleration, general location. Oh, looks like he's driving through North Glen. Cool. Um, acceleration and deceleration patterns. So it'll take into account this huge, enormous algorithm and be like, Oh, this person's a horrible driver. This person's a safe driver. Whatever. If you accelerate like 0 to like 120 every single day, you know, you're a bad driver. According to the insurance company, you may drive like safe, never had an accident, never had a ticket, but... Yeah. Another cool thing is that an insurance company cannot raise your rates... Um, because of the data that they tracked. They can't raise your rates, but they definitely won't lower your discount, or increase your discount. You'll just stay at X amount that they initially give you. Crazy, I know! But if you're, if you're on your folks' insurance, and you've never had your own insurance, and you go out on your own, this is the first time you've been, like, insured, so they could raise your rates. Mind blown. I think that's going to do us for today's vigil. Vig Next time, I... I mean, if there's enough views and folks like this and all that crazy stuff. Because this is my first attempt making, like, an intuitive YouTube vigil. Yeah, if there's good response to this, I will do another episode and talk more in depth about insurance and, you know, how to how to play it in your, in your favor, I guess. I'm really talking with my hands right now. I feel like Jack Sparrow. But why is the wrong gone? <laughs> but uh yeah thank you so much for tuning in if you haven't already please like and subscribe it means the world to me it definitely helps me out in the long run so thank you guys take care